yeah, you know, uh, we went in the last weekend, I think, with, uh, you know, feeling pretty good about how we've been playing. Uh, you know, we opened up with Western Illinois. Uh, man, you know, the Massner kid really, really loves the Hawks. I, you know, his two-game total against us is, is pretty impressive. We threw a lot of guys at him, and I thought that, you know, the difference in the game was we just couldn't really slow him down much. Um, it was a great opportunity. You know, we kind of felt like if we if we take care of our business at home, you know, I, which would have happened if we if it would have happened, we, we would have ended up the sixth seed. Um, we lose that game on Thursday. The the Saturday game became really a little bit uh, relevant as far as win or lose. But you know, playing a really good St. Thomas team uh, that that presents their own challenges, and I, I, I thought we played better. I thought we played with a lot more. Uh, energy, effort, enthusiasm on defense. I thought that's where we got, that's where it came from, was on the defensive side of the floor. We were active, and I, I think it really helped us uh, on offense. And, you know, and when your offense is, you know, I, I think there's a, a stat out there when our field goal percentage is better than our opponents, we, we, we usually do pretty well. And, and I thought we, we offensively were pretty good. But uh, I, I really felt like the energy came from us defensively. And it was a good, it was a good win. Uh, I, I thought we had a lot of different guys play well, um, but but at the end of the day, uh, you know, we end up tying for eighth and, and, and end up with the ninth seed, and, and now we get to play Denver. So uh, it's it's uh, we're excited about playing. It, it, you know, I, I, when this team is playing with that kind of effort, energy, and enthusiasm uh, on the defensive side of the floor, and, and move the ball on offense, and we have pace on offense, I, I, I think we're a hard team to guard. Um, but you know, we got to go and really work for that. It's 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 something we're doing a lot more often, and so we're excited about playing on Friday. I think it might be a fair statement to say that you might be a tough out considering how you played the last few weeks of the season. Yeah, it, it, we sure could be the way we played the last few weeks. We I think we sure could be. I, like I said, I, I think a lot of times it's you, you know just the, it's from the shoulders up so much this time of the year, but. He, Throughout the entire season, you know, you're you're kind of trying to find the right pieces, the right lineups, the right rotations, the right roles for guys. The guys really buying into the, the, the right roles, and I just feel like this last month plus, you know, this last month, especially February, uh, we've been able to kind of have the right guys with the right roles. They've bought into those. They're fulfilling those roles much better. So if we if we go out there with that kind of mentality, I don't care who we play. I feel like we can put ourselves in a position in the last two minutes to win a game. Um, but but that's the team that's got to show up. You know, we got We got to play with that kind of energy, effort, and enthusiasm, um, and 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 have some fun, man. Go compete, have some fun, and 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 you know, just not get so caught up and worried about the last play. Just just keep focusing on the next play. Yeah. Well, a little bit was just, you know, Jalen Trent as a point guard. It, it, I think putting him in better positions because he he's really good for us defensively. And I think as he's gotten a little more feeling offensively uh, of, of, of the screening, of the cutting, of, of kind of the spacing aspect of stuff. And we've, you know, the way we played him in the last four to five weeks is different than maybe we played him early. And I, I think the emergence of, of Sotene, I think T's playing at a good level. And it's provided us to space the floor with him outside a lot more. And it's just created different matchups and different situations for defense to, to worry about. And, you know, guys like, you know, Brady and Matt and, and BJ, Trey, these guys I think have all kind of played off that space. Um, Trayson's getting to the rim, he's attacking really well. Uh, Matt's been able to get to the rim and attack more because because of that floor spacing. So, uh, you know, and Brady's kind of been Brady all year. Like, he's really been giving us that lift all, all year. And, and I just think our guys have maybe latched on to the effort he brings and the energy he brings. And, and that's a great example for the rest of our guys that, hey, man, if we all show up and play like that, it it helps. Yeah, you know they're a team that gets to the free throw line a lot. We got to really defend well without fouling, um, and we, we and we're pretty good at that. Like we're, we're we're defensively one of the better teams of playing without fouling. 
So we've got to do a good job with that. And they have size. You know, their big kid inside, the Stanford transfers, he's a load. Um, you know, they, they, they play Tynemo at, at the four, and he's also a five uh, that's really skilled. Um, you, you know, their point guard is, is, is a lot to handle. Jalen, it's been a good matchup for Jalen, but he got the best of us in Denver. And I thought Jalen did an awesome job at our place with him. Um, but at the end of the day, a guy like Tevin Smith, again, uh, can score in, can score out. He's 6'4", 6'5". He's athletic. He just, he scored really easy. Bat. He scored easy at their place. Um, he's still got points at our place, but we did a better job on him. But they, they just got some tough matchups. They, they really do. They're big. They get to the free throw line. Uh, they don't shoot. They don't rely on making threes. Um, and, and so we got to really do a great job of guarding around that zone one. We got to do a great job of making it tough twos. And and uh, we gotta, you know, we gotta control, uh, you know, we gotta control Bruner a little bit. We gotta control Tevin Smith. So those those are the guys that we gotta we gotta. They they can be like they on stops they can get out and go like they've they've had games where they've scored a lot of points, but they'll come down and run a lot of offense too, run a lot of sets. Like they'll they'll come down and they're not afraid to, you know walk it up and make you really have to guard them in the half court. So, um, but like we've been beaten transition by them. I thought at their place, just, you know, the, the different defenses they might throw at you, like off deflections, off stops. I mean, they'll get out and really push and go. So taking care of the ball, which is something we're better at. Like that's part of our, you know, getting better offensively has been we've, we've done a lot better job. Our, our overall field goal percentage isn't really high but we're making more threes and we're not turning it over. So we're getting more opportunities at possessions than just giving the ball up. And, and so if we can keep our turnovers in that six to seven realm right around there, that, that makes us pretty hard to play against. The bottom line is just go ahead and punt them, lose. Yeah, I mean, it's the third time you're playing a team, right? And, and when there's not a lot of secrets going on now. Um, you know, you don't make a ton of changes in what you're doing at this point in time in the year. Matchups are important. Doing your job is important. Um, playing really, really hard, being connected, being engaged, having fun, letting it go is is really important. And and uh, you know, take don't hold on so tight. Loosen that grip. Swing away. Have some fun. First time any of your guys, Paul, are uh, experiencing this tournament for the first time. So, uh, how do you think they're going to handle that new environment in Sioux Falls? Yeah, I mean, Brady played, and Brady took a big charge against South Dakota. You know, when we upset them. Uh, you know, two, you know, three years ago, I guess now uh, in that first round. But, but uh, I mean, it's a tournament setting, so you, you kind of have the. I guess there's that anxiety that when you when you lose, your season's done. Um, but like I, I also feel like we're kind of going in with not a lot to lose. You know, we're we're coming in as a as a team that finished eighth in the league, but we've we've played teams relatively. Throughout this league, we've either beat them or we've played them really tough, uh, with the exception of you know, of a South Dakota State. We just we haven't played great against, or well, I guess we did at our place, but we didn't play great. But North Dakota State's kind of been a team that has had our number a little bit this year. But I just feel like anybody in this league, we feel like we can match up with and play with and beat. So, you know, don't we? we you know, the pressure. A lot of this is the you know, the pressures on those teams like Oral Roberts and South Dakota State that that that. You know, maybe are finishing at the top of the league that 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 maybe should win this tournament, and and so for us, let's let's go have some fun. We've shown we can we can win games. We've shown we can beat teams. So let's just go out and be who we are and and, and compete and, and let it let it loose a little bit and see what happens. And of course, new this year, uh, Friday being the extra day. Just kind of your thoughts on that uh, extra day as you head into uh, the tournament. Well, I, I think it's good that everybody's getting it, that, that everybody's the whole league's playing in it. You know the playing game. I think it allows those top seeds to, you know, have a you know having that buy and having that rest. I think is is important. I, you know, the way they've done it, um, it's it's a lot like how other leagues have done it, and and so no, I mean it's it's something new with our league, and you know we're excited about playing Friday. No question. No question.